We'll see two of the best teams in the country, number three and number eight. Walsh to kick to Arenas and McCoy. Arenas, very dangerous. They kick it away from him, and McCoy will take it in the end zone. And they complete the first throw of the game. B.J. Scott, only his second catch of the season so far. Got a pullback, Baron Huber. Set to the side of Coffey, and Coffey will get the carry. Plunges straight ahead for a first down to the 32. And both are living up to their clipping. Play action fake. John Parker Wilson on the roll and throws complete. He's got a first down out to the 48-yard line. And it's Julio Jones. They get the play action where you've got to respect the Alabama run. Blitz coming. John Parker Wilson on loads. Jones across the 40 and out of bounds. John Parker Wilson, good protection deep down the middle. Underthrown a little bit, but interference. Yep, good Prince ball. Miller was defending Marquise Mays. You throw on early downs with play Pass action. Interference, number 23, defense. 15 yard penalty from the previous spot. Automatic first down. Coffee is back in. On third and the long. Georgia shows blitz and they come with it. Screen to Coffee. 10. Seven ball came loose. Georgia says they've got it. No signal yet. And they do. There is a flag down, though. There was a flag thrown back in the area of John Parker Wilson. It's still on the ground at the 30 yard line. Personal foul. Rush the passer. Number 51. Defense. Half the distance to the goal from the previous spot. Automatic first down. Got an extra offensive lineman in there for more blocking. Right up the middle to the goal line. Touchdown. Mark Ingram with his fifth rushing touchdown of the season. And they are stunned at Athens. Matthew Stafford, the quarterback. Impressive stats. Maybe the most impressive. 21-4 and four as a starter. Gets it out to Massaquan. Well, great block by Chris Durham out there, number 16. Stafford wants a screen. Marino. They love to throw screens, especially against an aggressive defense like Alabama's. Javier Arenas, who has tied the great David Palmer for four puck return touchdowns in his career. As dangerous as it gets. From the 19. Got a seat. Boy, that was close. Out to the 35, a 16-yard return. Alabama's already gained 56. Georgia was only giving up 45. John Parker Wilson in trouble down the sideline. Gets out of bounds. I think the guys have responded to him as well. Wilson on a roll. Here comes the pressure. Smart decision throws it away. Here's five on the play. Four pass. Holding. Number 23. Defense. He looks much more powerful than he was a year ago. Got a good block on that play, and the pass is complete. I think we got another roughing the passer, too. We just talked about penalties, and I think we got another one. Remember, they had a turnover on the previous drive, and instead of getting the ball, the penalty kept the drive alive. Down to the five-yard line as Mark Ingram checks in. I would imagine if your hair is on fire, you play yeah. fast. But you may not play low all the time. <laughs> or long. <laughs> Lee Tiffin will try a 23-yard field goal. And hooks it through perfectly. Marquise Johnson actually batted the ball away before A.J. Green could snatch it out of the air. And Green got away with a push. Here's a very poor kick, and it takes a bounce back Toward the 40-yard line, it is an 18-yard punt 
We wish him all the best and thank him for his service. And he is rooting hard for the Bulldogs tonight. Coffee. There's that run to the left side. I mean, that is, that's Coffee. their bread and butter. Coffee again, straight up the middle. It's enough for a first down to move the sticks. Again, going back to the beginning of the telecast. I mean, the strength for Georgia was their skill, their strength outside. Nice play action fake, tremendous protection. Julio Jones inside the 10, still on his feet, dives. We're going to say he's out of bounds at the 5. John Parker Wilson, perfect so far. Five out of five, 78 yards on the night. Coffee off that left side, cuts back, dives, touchdown. Seventy-eight to seventy-one. Johnson and Smith on that offensive line just own the left side. Because Tripp is obviously going to be used as a blocker, and that's about it. Stafford under pressure. Gets away, goes forward, gets to the 30-yard line, swallowed up by Luther Davis. But he's playing in the 360 to 365 range right now and playing very well in the middle. They show blitz, they come with it. Stafford on the run, throws complete the green, but it's taken away and intercepted by Dante Hightower. Popped right out of Green's hands. And Hightower goes the other way with it. Unbelievable. And Murphy's Law is in operation tonight. If it can go wrong, it has so far for Georgia. Mike McCoy. Another first down pass for Alabama. Their plan coming in has been beautiful. John Parker Wilson to the shotgun on third and long. What's that in the flat? Got McCoy. McCoy has a first down at the eight. Jones and Stover are the widest receivers. Draw play up, Church walks in. Touchdown. Holy cow. Wow. It's like blood in the water for sharks. Stafford straight back to throw. Good protection and throws, and he's got his freshman wide receiver, A.J. Green. They converted their last third down, but had the turnover. Stafford under pressure. Couldn't find that receiver initially. Throws this one out of bounds, and the Alabama sideline wants an intentional grounding call, and they might get it. Because the guy in there now is 365. Mims, who had a four punt the last time, kicking to Arenas. Arenas breaks a couple of tackles, takes it up over the 35 to the 37. Can Alabama add to this margin? John Parker Wilson thinks so. Coffey, who has done a little bit of everything tonight, up to the 43. Second and four. Coffey, first down and more. See, when you can run the football, it does so much. But they haven't played a team that's been committed to running the way this Alabama team, or with an offensive line as good as this punch. John Parker Wilson again on first down, or check it, second down this time, and completes it down to the 26-yard line. They only have 10 scholarship seniors. John Parker Wilson is one of them. Nobody else in big-time college football has played fewer. And this pass intended for Jones at the touchdown. Are you kidding? Well, you saw on that play the strength of Julio Jones because he used his left arm and his big upper body to push the defender away and then catch the ball over his right shoulder. So he moved back to the 25. And Tiffin will kick for Marcus Brown, who retreats to the 7. Brown has the seam. To the 44, a little bit of good news, and let's check in with Reese. Alabama showing a four-man rush draw play, Marino. 
You know, so much was made during the week about they're going to a funeral at Sanford Stadium, and it got on YouTube, and of course it was made to be a big deal. Was it going to fire up the Georgia team? And Mark Rick kind of responded to it by wearing black to his press conference the next day. Nick Saban says, I don't think it'll make any difference right now that Saban won nothing. Boy, what an arm. I mean, it, it, you know, it's still fun to watch Matthew Stafford on a play like that. Marino is too good of a football player not to have him a part of what you do in the second half. Blitz coming. Up for Grams and intercepted. Picked off by Justin Woodall. And Woodall back to the 17-yard line. Small consolation to Matthew Stafford. Small consolation to Georgia. And remember all the hoop to do when they paid Nick Saban, what, $4 million a year to coach this team? There are people in Alabama right now that think he ought to get a raise. Well, the big lesson for Alabama after last year, can they finish? They've got to do a better job of finishing. Well, they finished the first half. <laughs> we'll see if they can finish the football game. Did they ever. They've hurt themselves with it tonight. Yeah, the penalties they've had in this game have been killing. Stafford, boy, what an arm he has. Completes it to Chris Durham, and here's Holly. They are so different looking than they were last year. They're playing faster, they're playing with more confidence, and that idea of finishing, that's the big deal with Nick Saban. Down the middle again, this one complete to the 31, Durham again. I mean, he came to the sideline with his wobbly, shoulders perhaps? hunched over a little bit. I don't think he's recovered completely from that run. They'll try for a 43-yard field goal, and Georgia gets on the board with 11.07 to go in the third quarter. Georgia throughout, uh, throughout Mark Rick's career has been great at kick blocking. They don't come after this one, and a low, short kick, which takes a good bounce for Alabama, will roll inside the 25-yard line, a kick of 42. Last thing they can afford being banged around the way this game has gone is to lose no Sean Marino. Mims to kick to Arenas. And another bounce for Alabama. Alabama takes over in great field position. It's own 47. Coffee. Got to the 50. Now it's time for Todd's Taste of the Town. Got to be gravy involved, doesn't there? <laughs> or sauce. Blitz coming. And down goes John Parker Wilson. Middle linebacker Akeem Dent got him. Let's see if there's gravy in this one. No little bit about football too. Partially oh, blocked. blocked. That could have been a huge play yep. going the other way that could have gotten a touchdown out of it. And it figures the way this game has gone tonight, they block a punt, and instead of having something bounce back toward the Alabama goal line for a touchdown, it goes downfield. Stafford right back to work to Green. This guy is going to be a big time receiver. They got it now, and they have been tremendous. Stafford back to throw underneath Massaqua. See, that's what I think the throws are there for Matthew Stafford. Not the deep down the field. Four man rush. Pressure out of it. Massaquat inside the 40 to about the 38, and I think you're at the point where yeah. you might as well go for it, don't you? Yeah, you have to go throw for it right here. Green, his biggest possible target is wide left, Massaquat to the right. Blitz coming, instead they go over to the middle, and Moore makes the catch. Moore inside the 31st down. It's Marino out here, he wasn't sure where he was supposed to line up, that's him right there. Stanford with a pump fake. There's that body control by A.J. Green. Stop fade, and A.J. Green makes the catch. What a sweet looking receiver. Marino is back in out of the eye. He'll get the toss. Got to the pylon. Got there. The ball hit the pylon, and it's a touchdown.
Well, that's one. They need three more. And look at no Sean Marino. No quitting this kid. There's no quitting any of them. Nope. They've got six guys up anticipating an onside kick right now. So you kick this one deep and hope your defense comes through again. Need to kick it deeper than that, though. It might be a little tired, too. Yeah, it first, first night game, right, for yeah. August 7th? Up past his bedtime. They do not come after the kicker. And Mims was in the one out of there. And, whoa, look out. There goes Prince Miller. Are you kidding? Let's go. 92 yards. The now we was check the no, play. It was interference to make the catch. I mean, he was very close to getting bumped before the catch was made. I am pretty sure. Take catch in the field. Number 24, sinking team. Don't get the five. Second and six. Can Georgia's defense rise up? Pass complete. Jones. Across midfield, two tremendous freshman wideouts in this game. Upchurch is in as the running back. John Parker Wilson to Upchurch. Middle screen, Upchurch. Down to the 20. 32 yard field goal. This could be the ball game here. Lee Tiffin can make it a three score lead. Hooked it. Is it good? Yes. Just got it in top the post. Well, oh, credit how close yeah. was that? And they have to play with a lot of urgency right now. Another blitz. They don't get there. And over the middle and more. He's got it up to the 47-yard line. That's enough for a first down. Justin Woodall makes the tackle. Stafford, a little pump fake, and then throw. Wow. How about that for a catch? Well, Moore drops the easy one. Yeah. As it bounced right off his chest, has to go up and snatch that one. He was a huge recruit out of Dallas, Texas, where he was a superstar in the football crazy high school state. Stafford again. This one is incomplete. Now that's that's intended for his tight end. That should be a hole. Well, what or interference. Anything that stops the clock is good for Georgia. Pass interference. Number 25, defense. Blitz again. Stafford lost the ball. Got it back. But he sacked at the 44, and obviously they'll have to go for it. Alabama, you can see three deep safeties already. They're going to concede a short throw. Not going to give up the deep one. They are right on the first down marker. Check it. It's fourth and 18. Stafford steps up, throws over the middle. Oh, that should be a first down. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, what a catch by A.J. Green. Right off the grass. And they're walking Holding best that way. Number 61, offense. Ten-yard penalty from the previous spot. Replay fourth down. Now it's fourth in a $25 cab ride. Stafford's got to chuck it and hope. Our director, Scott Johnson, is thrilled that the Reds are still in Cincinnati. John Parker Wilson wants to throw up church on the screen. Oh, what a move. Up church. 20. 15. Oh, I was shocked by that. Yeah. You know, he has always been viewed around the rest of the conference, and I think the rest of the country. This is coffee inside the five to the goal line touchdown. John Parker Wilson has always been looked at as a guy who was, yeah, he's pretty good, but I think he has surpassed that evaluation. He stayed around to tape the segment, and then he flew home afterwards. And, uh, great job. Samuel on the return for Georgia and breaks away and taken down to the 38. Let's check in with Reese.
at Baton Rouge will be huge. Nick Saban returns to Baton Rouge for the first time. Stafford under pressure. Tucks it down to the 24 completely. They're off to a great start right now, and they are a very physical football team. Stafford pump fake down the middle of Moore. Touchdown. Boy, Moore is either making a spectacular catch or dropping one. And of course, this would make it a 16-point game if you're still thinking about miracles. <laughs> He will stay with his pedal to the metal in that part. Most people rated it easily the best in the nation. Loose ball. Georgia got it. Yes, they are. They're indicating yep, they, they did. did. No sign from the official yet. Yep, they, they got it. Nick Walker tried to jump up and make the catch, I think. Georgia offense back to work. Stafford trying to take off. Flips a tackle across midfield down to the 47-yard line. And how about the Pac-10? Yikes. They have the shining star in Southern California, and then they lost. Problem with the SEC and the other power leagues, they start beating each other. Stafford using the middle of the field. Harris down to the 20. To me, one of the things that sets the SEC apart from the other leagues is not just the talent of the players, but how difficult all the venues are to go and play in this league. Green, touchdown. This guy may set records we haven't even thought about yet. Nick Walker still out there. Number 88, the guy who bobbled the last one. Stays inbounds. And Alabama got it. He did exactly what you pointed out early in the ball game that you need to do against a Georgia defense. If you are a running team, and they were, you had to throw in downs where you weren't expected to throw. Right. You had to throw early and disappoint Ugga, and they did. It was 31 to nothing in the first half. Ugga never recovered. What a huge win for Alabama and Nick Saban. Here's Holly. Coach, how was your offense able to come out and set the tone in that first half? Well, I just think we had a good plan. We did a good job on the line of scrimmage and, you know, made our runs work and had some positive runs, had a good play action plan and, plan and made some plays. But, you know, like I told you at halftime, it's a 60-minute game. Uh, and these guys should be commended for the way they came back in the game. And our guys lost their intensity, and we didn't play the same in the second half. So maybe we'll learn something. What was going through your mind during that third quarter when you guys were failing to convert yards? Well, I, I think the big thing was we were able to come back and, uh, you know, when we scored 10 points, that kind of put the game out of reach. We didn't play pass defense very well in some of those situations and didn't get an onside kick. So we needed a lot of things that we need to work on. But you did get the win, Coach, right? We won, and it's a great win for us. And, hey, I appreciate our fans up there, and it's great for our players, and our coaches have done a wonderful job with this group. Now we got to regroup and get another one. All right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Holly. Huge win for Nick Saban and Alabama. They win over Georgia 41-30 to in Athens. Coming up next on ESPN, stay tuned for SportsCenter. And for a wrap-up of this game, catch us on ESPN News in just a few. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. For Todd Blackledge, Holly Rowe, and our entire ESPN crew, this is Mike Patrick. Thanks for watching, everyone. Good night from Athens, Georgia.